I'm trying to think of something like Kino, where it's Kino the Kino Kino. Krispy Kreme. Douchebag Krispy Kreme. Hello! Anyway, after that's done, hi, I'm Chris. This is TS Paraline, as you all know. I hope. Maybe. Would you like to say anything, Sky Knight? Nope. Anyway, so let's get to this deck now. New deck of the new format, or the new pack, until we get G-Guards. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be showing you my Diablo deck build, or at least the build I'm trying right now that I saw Japan was playing, and I wanted to see what kind of silly shenanigans you can get away with. Uh, there's only one card in here I don't, I'm not too fond of, only because it creates soul problems, but... It's fun. You pretty much get to the point where if the opponent doesn't have five rear guards, you can Diablo lock them. But that's later. So, starter is the formerly known Sharp Knight David, before his name was changed. Kill him, he counts as two cards. Triggers are four heals. I'm only using this one for now because I don't have the Shiny Revenger one yet, if we ever get them. So, puppies. And then just 12 crits, because this deck can actually deck out, because it decked in so much. Yeah, using the Grim Reaper crits and the Hollow one, because it's shiny and I don't want to choose other ones. I mean, I could go one of each crit, but I don't want to have singles like that. I'd rather just have the four and fours. So next grade ones, we have two strat enablers. Because for this deck, you don't really need Stride Enablers. You kind of only need it for your first stride to go into Orgeyser. Because the focus is to be on Blaster Dark Diablo. So you can just free stride into everything after that. Two Dark Heart Trumpeter. This is the card I told you I wasn't like too fond of. She's a Soul Blast 1 when she's placed. Call a grade 1 if you have a Blaster name. Uh, I mean, it's okay sometimes. As long as you have the grade 2, uh, well or Hoal, however, however you pronounce it. Um, you can manage the soul, because you can just get uh, Kaiden, or Kaidin, and then get soul from that. So you get two cards for basically free. For Kaidin, or Kaidin, is it Kaidin? Kaidin? I'm, I'm going to go with Kaidin, why not? Uh, when you sacrifice him for a cost of an effect, and you have a Diablo name on the Vanguard Circle, you get plus 5,000 power for that turn, and you get the on-hit ability. If you hit the opponent's vanguard, you can superior call a grade 1. Is it grade 1? I feel like it's grade 1. Yep, look for up to 1 grade 1, and then call it. And then if you have the grade 2, Hoel, you get to give that grade 1 you just called plus 5, which can make for really stupid numbers. And now we have 4 Charon, because... You don't want to ride the other grade 3 for this deck, and Charon can pretty much ensure that you get Blaster Dark almost 100% of the time. And it counts as two sacrifices whenever you go into any of your strides, except for Orgeyser. So that's always good. Sack 1, restand. Keep your cards in your hand from the drive checks. Four perfect guards that don't flip, because we don't have any other perfect guards that would be worth playing for this deck, because we can run out of counter blast like it's water. Grade 2s! Woohoo! 2 Maka. Because when she's boosted, you get to call Grade 1, so you just fill the field with more Grade 1s. You can also call this Dark, si Dark Sage Painter, because it counts as a Grade 1 now in the deck, so you have something to call. The only downside to this card, you always have to draw and discard. I honestly wish I could skip the draw part of it, and I wouldn't check out. I would never do it. I would only do it if I had too many Grade 3s in my hand. So you can kill a column and then make a new card to attack. And then Hoel is at 4. Every time you call a grade 1 and you have a Diablo Vanguard, both him and Diablo get plus 3k power, and it keeps stacking. And if you call the grade 1 Kaidin, or Kaidin, whatever his name is, you can soul charge 1, counter charge... Yeah, and that, pretty much. Helps you manage soul and counter blasts. And we're at the grade 3s. We play 4 Blaster Dark. Bros, because this is the main grade 3 of the deck. And then the backup grade 3, which is the fun tech card, is Death Spray Dragon, because it gives the deck some retire, and you never need these grade 3s in your hand, so it doesn't honestly matter. Being able to sack one and then kill something on the opponent's field is pretty decent, because you just swarm the field with grade 1s anyway, and it doesn't matter. 
And you can, if you don't have, if you don't want to use the Soul for Organizer and you don't want to go into Doomed, you can go into Recruiter and then sack the Grade 1 to give an extra 5k and you call another Grade 1. So that you don't have to um, Organizer do it, so you have other ways of doing it. And now we get to the Stride deck, which is a little bit weird, but it'll make sense when I explain it. So, to go to the obvious ones that are, like, obvious. We play two Spectral Blaster Diablos, because you only need two. You can play it at three if you want. Doesn't matter. Two is fine for me. I usually kill them by then. Two actual Phantom Blaster Diablos. This is going to increase the four when we get G-Guards, because the G-Zone is going to be at 16, so you can play whatever the heck you want and not care, number-wise. Two Orgeysers. This is a must. You have two cards in the stride deck that are going to flip at least one of these. One Orgeyser, because it comes down to pretty much you're going to stride either Orgeyser or Doomed first, and you're going to flip up the other copy. And then after that, you're going to stride Spectral, and then you flip whichever one of these you didn't flip. And then the last one is just if you don't have Counter Blast or Soul to spare, you can just Recruiter and have some on-hit pressure and call a grade one. And yeah, it's pretty much that. When we get G-Guards, you can just first stride um, Spectral Blaster Diablo and not care and be like, oh, restand. Or you can first stride um, Diablo with Critical and be like, oh, Diablo Lock, yay. Have fun. Hold this Critical for me. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my Diablo deck. The only thing that changed before was um, instead of Death Spray Dragon, I had three Vortimer, which I, I, I enjoy, but Vortimer has a very specific rule that you always have to stick by, and the rule is to never do his effect when you ride Counter Blast, Soul Blast, Call a Grade 1. The rule is never do that unless you ride it after you've already ridden a 3, because then you have the soul for it. But his other effect's pretty good. Kill one when you stride Spectral. Get two cards. Helps deck then. Uh, and then, instead of the Dark Painter, it was pretty much just Twitter run and another... Or two stride enablers and a Twitter run. It was something like that. But you can just play around with the numbers at that point. So yeah, that's my Diablo deck.